Welcome back everyone. I just wanted to give everyone an update on where I'm at with the new Hypercube Evolution uh, printer build that I'm doing. I was away last weekend but I still managed to make a bit of progress anyway. Uh, so let's take a look at where it's at now. Okay, so just back for an update on where things are at. These are the old brackets for the build plate, which were the incorrect size. So I printed new ones. And now I've actually got it all mounted up. I've actually got two more uh, printed. I found that with the particular size of my build plate I printed a I think at the front I've got 30 mil offset and at the back I've ended up with 25 mil offset so I've actually got two others printed uh, just for those center holes as well which um, I'll see how I go I'll see how level the build plate is at the end of this and if there's any need I'll um, put those ones in just to give a little bit more flexibility as far as leveling you know that static level of the bed um, I guess the other thing in the last uh, video I mentioned that I was going to lower down or the bottom of the frame here so that I could take advantage of an extra 100 mil uh, build height. Well, I don't know what I was thinking. I just wasn't, I guess. But uh, I bought these lead screws with uh, 300 mil in mind, and of course, it has to go up higher than the lead screw. Anyhow, so I've left this uh, disconnected at the moment just so I can move things around. I've got two more motors coming from China uh, with integrated lead screws 100 mil longer to replace those. So as soon as they come, I'll uh, fit that up and that'll be good to go. But uh, yeah, look, I'm still, still pretty pleased that uh, I've decided to go for that extra 100 mil build height. I'm not worried about having a uh, power supply and things like that mounted on the back. Just I'd rather rather it be more functional than uh, than pretty, so to speak. A few other things have arrived from China uh, this week. Uh, I ordered these feet. Don't quite know what I was thinking. I ordered them with six mil screws. Needless to say. They're no good. So I've tapped these now uh, with 8mm tap and ordered some more uh, feet for the bottom. So a little bit annoying, but you get that on these big jobs, I guess, don't you? Anyway, build plate on. One other thing in the meantime, I've been playing with uh, printing out some cable trains and I quite like this one as I mentioned power supply will be on the back control board and everything will be on the back I'm thinking that I will put a cable chain that runs from the top uh, bar here down to the build platform so that I can just bring all the wiring up and then straight through back into the into control board power supply etc and also um, at some point in time I'll look at cable chain uh, one way or the other from uh, the X carriage back to the back here as well uh, just to keep everything nice and tidy so that's that I guess the other thing that 
has sort of moved along in the meantime is the extruder and the hot end. I think I mentioned I was going for a tight and arrow um, so printed out uh, brackets which I will put a link to or down below and I've also gone for BL touch style um, level measurement so that's all sort of mounted up pretty much ready to go now and as part of that uh, there's the part cooling fan as well which uh, sort of mounts on under here and onto the other side of the X carriage and takes a takes a 40 mil uh, fan so quite a bit of progress here and that's looking looking really nice went together nice and nice and easy uh, I've actually mounted up the pins here and uh, everything sort of fits together quite nicely so it is actually progressing just waiting on these damn new mo new motors now to replace the Z drive there and then we can uh, get it all tightened up and and uh, actually you know start getting some things moving along the other thing that's uh, that has turned up from China in the meantime is the control board and uh, display um, and the drivers I think we've almost got everything here now that I need there's probably a couple of other little bits and pieces I actually ordered some more aluminium extrusions just for the back here where everything's going to be mounted up just to sort of try and keep things as as tidy as possible on the back here I'll probably mount some acrylic or something like that there that I can screw everything else to anyway it's uh, coming along nicely not too sure where I'm going to put the display probably up the top here I'd say and uh, then be able to run the cabling back to the control board through the channel here or something like that anyway um, that's a bit of an update of where things are at I was away all weekend we uh, went down to Sydney for the weekend to watch a game of AFL and just had a bit of a break away and we've got some stuff on tomorrow so I'm not quite too sure how much more I'll get done this weekend um, maybe a bit of a tidy up here and uh, pack everything up oh one other thing that did actually turn up that I should mention uh, power supply turned up now good bad or whatever I ordered one from China and uh, yeah as you can see it's pretty dinged up so I'm going to uh, complain about it because the packaging was pretty crap and look there it's all bent up there as well not real happy I probably should have ordered a meanwhile power supply or something like that Bit better quality but um, anyway the chances are it's probably probably fine but um, yeah pretty disappointed in in the way it's turned up anyway and in the meantime the power supply in my other printer has looks like it's um, shit itself I don't think I need to print anything else to get this thing going so I think at this point I'm just going to get this going and then this sort of stuff can be the first project you know once I've dialed this dialed it in and everything like that then I'll uh, print out uh, the cable chains and everything like that and uh, get it all tidied up so yeah that's where we're at and I'll see you in the next video cheers for now if you like what I'm doing then please do like the video if you'd like to see more then please subscribe and don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new and I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.